Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to remove Play-Doh from carpet, clothes, and fabric. This will be a full tutorial, so let's get right into the video. As you can see right here, I have some Play-Doh on this sock. And I'm going to show you how to remove it. Now, this will work, this process works, whether you're removing it from clothing like this, any type of fabric, and any type of carpet or rug. Now, Play-Doh is awesome. It's super fun, super easy to use. Um, but it is prone to getting on kids' clothing and carpets and all that kind of stuff when you're using it. So removing it or knowing how to remove it is a key factor. The first step is letting it dry. You want to let it completely dry, not dry a little bit, you want it to be completely dry. That is step number one, okay? The second step, once you've let it dry, is you wanna peel it off or scrape it off. Now, if it's just a little spot like that, luckily you can probably just use your finger and it most likely will be able to come off just in one shot, okay? Just like that. So as you can see right there, it just came off in one shot. There's like basically no residue where that was there, okay? But if it's a little bit of a bigger spot like this, then you're probably gonna have to scrape at it quite a bit. Now you could probably use your finger to pry up any big clumps like that. But then what you're gonna have to do for this spot right here, of all the remaining little spots, is you're gonna have to uh, scrape it off. Now you can use your fingernail, like I'm gonna do it right now with my fingernail, and I can get quite a bit done with just my nail. So you don't need any special tools, and I don't have long nails, as you can see, I have pretty short nails. Um, so you can scrape it off with your fingernail and still get pretty much all of it off. It will take more work though, but what you can do as an alternative is you can go ahead and you can use a spoon because a spoon is, is something that is you know completely safe to use for scraping. It, you know, it, it's not, it doesn't have any sharp edges, but it's rigid enough to do some good scraping. So you want to scrape some, some of the pieces off. And like I said, you can use anything that works. Um, at the end of the day, anything with an edge will work. Scrape it off. Now once you've scraped and, you, and nothing else is coming off, so right now you see I'm, I'm scraping with my finger, nothing else is coming off. As you can see though, I, I definitely got the vast majority off. Um, if you want to preserve the, the threads and the fabric, then scrape easily. This is the bottom of a sock, so I'm just scraping, okay? But if you want to you know, keep it in good condition, then scrape easily. Once you're at that point where nothing else is coming off with scraping, then what you need to do is you need to wash it um, using soap and water. Then you can use any kind of soap. Um, I like to use just, this is like a bar, I believe this is Linda soap. I just use it to clean stuff, uh, stubborn things like this that won't come out. So get some warm water. And you're going to go ahead and wet it, get that soap, and scrub at it. And that's going to do a great job of lifting it up and hopefully be helping you remove it from the actual piece of fabric, cloth, clothing, whatever it is, carpet, whatever it is. Now, once you've soaked it up, what you can do is you can still scrape it a bit more because now it's wet. Now it's very malleable, so you can do a little bit more scraping. Add a bit more soap, you know, you can wash it off. You want to continue going back and forth. It's already almost completely off, which is good. Um, and what I will tell you is that getting 90% of that Play-Doh off will happen really quickly. The last 10% is what takes some time. So as you can see, I'll rinse off the soap and show you that I believe that I got it all off right now. Okay, I will wring out the sock. Let's go to the spot. So you can see right here, wow, it's nice and white because I just, <laughs> I just rinsed it with soap. You can see right here, there's no more Play-Doh on there. It came off, right? So obviously there are more spots on the sock. I would have to do the rest of the sock separately. But just for this tutorial, you can see I got rid of all that Play-Doh right there on that spot on the sock. That's it. It's uh, literally that simple. It's gone. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.